Hi friends, this is Lindsay and welcome back to Nevermore Creations. So I thought I would do another little tutorial for you and I'm going to add a disclaimer in and I should have all my videos. It's going to be loud in the background as you can hear my kids. So, um, but you've all assured me that um, I should continue to do tutorials even if you hear the kids in the background. So there's no way to keep them quiet. So what we're going to do is a very, very simple drunk journal. Um, no sewing machine required at all. And all you need is some paper. <laughs> All you need is some paper, and I have coffee dyed paper here, scrap coffee dyed paper. Um, you could use plain paper, scrap of paper. I'm just doing coffee dyed paper to show you super simple, okay? And then a piece of double sided cardstock. And if you don't have double sided, you can uh, glue two together or just leave it white on the inside. But this is from K and Company. It's a piece of double sided cardstock. This is my trick for making sure no matter what size your cover is, and this is for uh, four and a half by six. So four and a half by six. And that's no, there's no magic number. This was just a scrap piece in my bin. So when you want your pages to fit in, you just do, okay, so this is, um, see if this is four and a half, this is nine by six. So to have your pages fit, you're going to do a half inch less. So if this is nine, this is you're going to cut your pages to eight and a half. And if this is six, you're going to cut your pages to five and a half. They will fit with just the absolute perfect um, margin on all sides. That's that's how I love to do that. Okay. So sometimes um, it's nice to either throw something together quickly that doesn't use a sewing machine, or you might not have a sewing machine. So I picked um, this here, and I have a little bit of yellow uh, ink, and I'm going to use the yellow ink to just ink the edges really quickly and give it a little bit of a finished look. I'm not going to sew the edges like I normally do. This is just a quickie. It's a little um, thank you mini for one of my loyal customers, and I wanted to share my process with you. Okay, so... Then I picked this Project Life card that says Dreams, and that's going to go on the front. And I'm going to ink it with the yellow. And I have my glue stick. This is one of the Dollar Tree glue sticks. It's not my favorite glue stick. My favorite glue stick is, I believe it's Elmer's, and it's like um, an office grade. It's really, really heavy, <laughs> the way it sticks. Heavy sticks. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, but this does work quite well, and you can I can usually get eight for a dollar, and for something like this, it works perfect. So I'm just going to center that here on the front, and I'm going to grab one of my little paper flowers and add that as well. Okay, so I meant to grab one, but here we go. Here's one of these, and I had these in my shop yesterday. They sold out within a few minutes, and I already have a custom order for them. I do hope to restock, or you can always message me on Etsy, but they're adorable. It's three layers of punched flowers with a button, and so I'm just going to add that right there. And i um, just going to glue the back really good here. And whoop. that's it. That's all I'm doing to the cover, just a little... Simple, simple, cute, cute cover. Now, normally I put book pages, pattern pages, all sorts of things, but I'm just going to try using the coffee dyed paper because this would be absolutely perfect. Well, with the dreams, this would be great for um, actually journaling, keeping by your bedside, or putting in your purse. It gives more writing room. There's nothing super thick except for the button on the front. Um, gives you lots of journaling space, but yet it's still unique. So I have a stamp here, and I'm going to use my yellow ink. And I'm just going to, on some of the pages, add this. Well, I forgot this one doesn't stamp that neat. So I'm going to give you a tip for that. If you have, because these are like cheap, and they don't stamp very well always, and if you can see the yellow stamped in the middle and around the edges, I'm going to show you what you can do if that happens so that won't happen. Okay, so I have a distress marker in mustard seed. You don't have to use distress. You can use any marker you want. But um, if the ink on the ink pad is getting all around your stamp and causing this little bit of discoloration, um, you can just take the marker and you can, it takes a little bit longer, but it's definitely worth it if you like the stamp, which I really like this one. So I'm just going to go around like that. <laughs> I am being called... And there you go. Much cleaner stamp. Um, it still is showing a little bit because of there was still yellow left on it. But I'm going to do one more 
on screen and then um, yeah, I'm not going to make you watch me do like 10 of them. You could do it on every page or just a few pages. It's up to you. Whoop. Much better. See? Really nice. All right. So I'll finish stamping later. Um, but pretty much what you're going to do, and I've, you know, done this lots of times, assemble your signature. And when they're all the same, it's super easy. You just put them all together like so. Get your cover. And we are so out of focus. It's ridiculous. There we go. Sorry, guys. All right. And then we're going to, I think I was moving too fast. We're going to put it exactly where we want it. Grab our paper clips and clip the paper into the cover. Okay. That keeps it from moving. We did this um, in the video yesterday, and I'm just doing it again because, you know, sometimes the more we see something, the easier it is. All right. And then I don't have my book here, so, but... This is not very thick. It's going to be pretty easy to poke through. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold it and poke through. One, two. And this would be really easy to run through your sewing machine too. But we're doing this without a sewing machine. So three. Now I have my needle and my thread. And one of my subscribers was very kind enough to tell me that this is number 10 uh, crochet thread. My favorite, my favorite kind that I've been using lately. Wow, I keep going out of focus. I apologize. Okay. Go in the middle. Leave a tail. Up and in. Remember, if your paper clipped in, you can do this super fast because it won't slip on you. You know, it took me a long time to realize that. Yeah. Things like this are not my strength. I'm more on the creative side. So... It took watching other people doing what I thought I already knew how to do till I realized, oh, I need a paper clip it in. Okay, so we are going to double knot it. Not very dexterous today. It's early in the morning. I'm trying to get, yeah, it's not that early. There we go. Double knotted, and then I'm just gonna snip that off. On my scissors. I tried to have everything together and ready, but no, I didn't. So, snip, pull off your paper clips, and voila. Super simple, super cute. I did this in real time, guys. I mean, did not take long. I'm just going to add some more stamping and it is done. Super cute. So I hope that you enjoy that. Um, you do not have to put a paper flower on. You could leave it plain. You can just add a project life card, decorate the front any way you want. This is just what I did. And um, I'm thinking I may even make some of these for my shop. I really love the look of all coffee dyed paper. And I think it would be absolutely great. I'm going to put a stamp like this on every page and it would be great to date it. Either Monday or to do or, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. So that's what I'm going to do to finish this off. And then, of course, my stamp in the back. So have a wonderful, I guess today is Friday, and I'll see you in the next video.